Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today we're making an Easter ham with honey gravy. Both my husband and I grew up eating ham on Easter, and today's recipe, ham with honey gravy, has been passed down through generations on my husband's side of the family. This is something that his grandmother made, his paternal grandmother, and now my mother-in-law makes every year for her family, and she shared the recipe with me. Now, don't be fooled, there's actually no honey in the gravy, but the texture and the color of it looks exactly like honey. It is incredible. It's this thick and gooey, sweet gravy that you just drench all of your food in. Your ham, your mashed potatoes, your sweet potatoes, your veggies, whatever you want. It is awesome. So let me get you up to speed with what I've done so far today. I'm making my ham today in a crock pot. My mother-in-law has this amazing countertop roaster that is massive. So if you have something like that that you have for the holiday seasons, definitely use it. But I tried to tailor the recipe and trim it down a little bit for my crock pot. And you'll see in a minute, I literally had to trim down the ham because the smallest one I could find was only nine pounds, so I had to cut it a little bit to fit. But in any case, I put the ham into my crock pot and I topped it with equal parts of ginger ale and pineapple juice. You could also use like pineapple tidbits or crushed pineapple or even pineapple rings and juice, whatever you have. And then I also put some brown sugar on top. I put the lid on top and I set the crock pot to low for four hours. Now the ham of course comes pre-cooked, so we're just heating it through and just infusing a little bit of extra flavor into it. You can also stud your ham with cloves. My mother-in-law does that. I honestly have tons of cloves, but I forgot to do it today, but I know it's still gonna taste amazing. So now it's four hours later, it's dinner time, the kids are getting a little anxious here, and I just have to put together the honey gravy. So I removed the cooked ham from the gravy, I transferred all the juices from the crock pot into a medium saucepan, and now I'm adding about a cup of water and uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch that I dissolved in the water. And you saw my liquid was at a nice rolling boil. So now I'm gonna whisk this in. We're trying to thicken this up a little bit so it has a really nice honey-like consistency. It's still not quite thickening up as much as I would like, so I am gonna add a little bit more slurry, so that cornstarch and water mixture. You can see probably, and I can feel that's really thickening it up. So I would say it's more like about a cup and a half of water and about four tablespoons of cornstarch. Can you see that? It's getting nice and thick, kind of honey-like. That is what I'm looking for. So our honey gravy is all ready to go. I have a little bit of ham here that I sliced up so I can sample some. So let me grab a little gravy over here off the stove. Oh yeah, let me come over here. So I'll show you how I drizzle it over the top at this nice thick consistency. Looks really good. Now I'm gonna give it a taste. It's almost dinner time, guys. You excited? Mmm, mmm, perfect. I'm so glad I nailed it. I nailed my mother-in-law's recipe, my husband's grandmother's recipe. Wow, this is so, so good. It is really unique, but absolutely delicious to have that sweet, thick gravy on your ham and everything else on your Easter plate. I wanna encourage you to not just make ham for Easter. Ham is an awesome dinner and super easy to throw together all year round. You saw all I had to do was put it in my crock pot with a little bit of liquid, and a few hours later, we were ready for dinner and it makes a ton, so it's really nice to feed a crowd, plus you can do all kinds of other things with leftovers. I'm gonna leave a link to my mother-in-law's Easter bread recipe in the description box below, because she told me that her family likes leftover ham sandwiches on that Easter bread, which would be an amazing combination. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and find me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe. For the full recipe, check the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.